everybody, it is Clara. I hope you guys are having wonderful holidays, whether it be Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever. I hope you guys are just enjoying this time of year. Yeah, so today I'm going to be doing my Christmas haul, if you will. I know a lot of people are going to cringe when they hear that this is what this video is about. You don't have to watch it, I just thought it'd be really fun. A lot of people do it on YouTube and they're really interesting just to see what kind of things people are getting. Um, someone requested it, so I thought I would do it. And it's just like any other haul, it just happens to be from a specific day. So yeah, I thought I would show you guys some of the things I got. Uh, not trying to brag or anything, um, I just want to show you guys what I got because I think it's fun to share things with you guys. So yeah, I've already filmed this once and I talked too long, so I'm going to try and make this a little bit shorter. So first I'm going to just start with this, it's in no particular order, it's just kind of what I grab from this mess on the floor. As I got the iPhone 5, I have... I've gone through a lot of iPhones and I broke my last one. I'm pretty good about taking care of phones, but I really needed a new one. And so my parents got me this one. So happy. Uh, it's just white, 16 gig. I need to get a case for it. So if you guys have any like ideas, comment below. I'm looking at one from Kate Spade that says live colorfully. And it's super cute. Um, I don't want to spend too much money on a case, but I do want one that's going to protect my phone. Because I don't want to break it. So, yeah. Now what? I'm just kind of literally hopping in here. I'm going to show you guys some books that I got first. Ooh. I'm pretty sure every single book I'm going to show you guys has to do with religion in some way of some sort. Except for one. So first I got this Shutterbug exclusive magazine and I really like cam cameras and our family friend Duke knows that I really like cameras so she picked this up for me and I'm really excited to just read it because again I love cameras. Then she got me Finally and Forever, uh, which is in the Katie Walden series, and I've read the first two. She also got those for me a long time ago. And they are sort of Christian books. That's not really their main focus. And they're just really, they're good. They're happy books, and I like, I like happy books. So excited to read that. Then she got me, I'm like, I get so excited when I read this, Radio Shangri-La, What I Discovered on My Accidental Journey to the Happiest Kingdom on Earth. And this is actually about Buddhists, so she kind of gave me two different religions to read about, which I think is really, oh, hi, kitty, really interesting, because I love reading about all the different religions, especially in, like, a fun book form, not, like, textbooks. And so this is about Buddhists, and I'm so excited to read this. I think it's going to be really good. Then I also have this, which I got from a Dirty Santa Party, which is Eat, Pray, Love, which is also about Buddhism in general, because I believe the lady in the story ends up becoming a Buddhist. I think. I think. I might not be sure. It says, a meditation on love in its many forms, love of food, language, humanity, God, and most meaningful for Gilbert, love of self. Uh, so I'm really excited. I've read a few pages of this so far, and it's really good, and I just love... I love books like this. I don't know why. Like, I love healthy related, like, healthy eating books and just healthy living books. Health, I just, I love it. My cousin actually got me Cleopatra's Daughter, which is really, it sounds interesting. Uh, it's about Cleopatra's Daughter. That's all I can really say. I haven't ever heard of it, but I'm super excited to read these books. I don't know why. I love books. Then my grandma actually got me the One Year Bible which is with the New Testament, and I thought it was just really sweet of her and really thoughtful. I really like thoughtful gifts like that. Go on, you boof. You boof. Why did I call him a boof? That's not a word. And, yeah, so each day of the year I can read a section from the Bible, and I think that's really interesting. So I've got a lot of different religions going in my books, but I'm excited to just read. I like to read. Uh, next, uh, my mom got me a brush collection by e.l.f., and it's just a 10-piece brush set. So it's got like blush, foundation, brow and comb, eyelash, eyeliner, concealer, eyeshadow, smudge, eye sponge, lip defining brush, and a total face brush. So I don't know where the other brush is. I think it's in my bathroom, but I'm really excited for that. I think that's going to be really sweet. Then I got some face paint from really good friendly family friends of ours who know that I make YouTube videos, so they got me this, so this is going to be really fun to just use on people. 
Uh, my friend, one of, my, one of my best friends, Sydney, actually got this for me. It's a Bigfoot ice scraper for my car because I literally have nothing for my car that I actually should have, like ice scrapers or like cleansers and stuff. I do now, but yeah, so I can look like Bigfoot when I'm scraping ice off cars, and I just thought that was really, really funny. Uh, again, sorry, this is in no particular order. My grandma actually threw the heifer. It's either heifer or heifer, and I never know. So I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering the name. I should know how to say that. But it's opening doors to ending hunger. And she donated a baby cow in my name to a family that needs it. And basically you donate an animal to a family that has nothing. And it helps them, you know, it gives them milk to sell or to feed their family. And it's just a really great organization. And it's just, I love thoughtful gifts like that. And she also got me some notepads, like a lotion and a chapstick. And then she got me this really cute keychain that says, love this life and believe in you. And I just love little happy keychains like that. They're just really thoughtful and I love them. She also got me <laughs> some special dark kisses, Hershey's kisses. I really like dark chocolate, so probably going to eat these a lot faster than I should, but I'm really, really excited. Uh... Yeah, this is seriously in no particular order. My best friend Sarah got me something that was really cute, and I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. Is the Chanel Lavernie's nail color and third 531 Peridot or Peridot, I don't know how you want to say it. And it's like a gold with this like green undertone, and it's really iridescent, and it's really pretty. And I really love this nail color, so thank you, Sarah. I'm gonna be wearing that a lot. And she also got me these really cute headphones because I got I had this red lipstick in my purse and it literally broke off into my purse and ruined my headphones. I had to throw them away. So she got me these little headphones that have like a little gnome on them and mushrooms and they're just really cute and they're really good headphones so like I don't have to listen to people talking around me. I can just jam out to my music in peace. So super pumped about that. Thank you. My ex-neighbor, I say ex because she doesn't live by us anymore. We're really good friends with them. She got me this really adorable bag and I absolutely love it. It's going to be perfect for just running stop cat quick little errands like to the store to get gas or on a field trip or something where I don't want to carry a lot and it's got a slot for my phone and then you open it up. Oh don't open up there. Open it. Open it up and then it's a cute little wallet and this is by DNA Design News Accessories. So Really cute, love this a lot. I'm gonna be using this all the time and it was just a really sweet gift. Then my mom got me these shoes, they're by Gianni Beanie and they actually have sparkles on the inside. And they're these like black wedges and they're in size eight and I'm going on a trip in February and so I'm gonna need some fancy, some fancy shoes to wear. And so these are gonna look really cute, especially with like tights cause it'll still be cold out and I just really like these shoes. I'm going to wear these a lot. Also in here for some reason I got a screwdriver for my car because I don't have anything for my car. Uh, yeah, this is like the worst filming job ever. I apologize. Something, uh, I got two things camera related. Uh, both are tripods. One is the Targus 42 inch universal tripod, which I'm filming on right now. And I needed a new tripod because mine broke. And I needed a small enough one because I bought this new cat stop. I got this new mindset for my videos and I want to do a bunch of different locations. Uh, and I'm going to need something small enough to just carry around. Not like a honkin' tripod, but something that'll work and get a steady shot. Uh, so I got this. And then I got this. This is also by Targus. It's the Gripton Pro XL flexible tripod and this seriously reminds me of something you'd see in like transformers or some scary like electronic weird movie i don't know you can wrap the tripod around things like trees poles or get like really weird angles like you can see it's gripping a pole and i can or a tree and i can film from there so i'm gonna get these really great steady shots from angles that i wouldn't be able to normally get so i'm so incredibly excited about this, so expect many videos from that. Something from another one of my really good friends uh, is this really pretty pot, and I'm going to put flowers in it. I can't decide if I'm going to do real or fake. Probably fake because I kill things really easily, but it's just really pretty, and I love it. It's going to make my room so much happier, and it was just such a sweet gift. Sure. 
Okay, so we're gonna get into clothes stuff now, one of which I'm sadly having to return, which is this beautiful piece of clothing right here, and this is by BCBG, and it's called Scarlet. Uh, the problem was, it's high-waisted, which I always love, it always looks a lot better on me, is that I have a bigger, a bigger backside, and so the line kind of cut off right under my butt, and it just made my, I don't know, I just felt a little disproportionate in it, and I just didn't feel like it fully flattered me to the best of its potential, it fit well, it just, it didn't work for me. Now, if you guys are in the market for like a really nice, classy looking skirt, I recommend this because it's beautiful, it's got a really awesome, thick material, and I really like it, so I'm kind of bummed that I have to return it, but yeah, it just didn't, it didn't work for me. And it's a good length, it's not too long, but not too short and it fits high up on your waist, so it really accentuates your waist. So if you're looking for something like that, I definitely recommend this. Then I got this from my friend Sydney. She gave it to me for Christmas, and it's from Forever 21, and it's just, it's literally me in a shirt. She knows me really well, which is probably why we're such great friends. And it's just like a whitish cream, and then it fades into like, this black meshy material so like it's a little bit see-through and it's really long too so it'll look good with leggings or dark jeans or light jeans or whatever and I just really like this because black is like the main color I wear in my closet but it's nice to get a little bit of white in there too even if it does end in black but I really love this shirt I'll be getting a lot of use out of it then I got this top by Jones New York Sport and it's just like a cute sweatshirt. It probably has like something on it because I wore it yesterday and I think I spilled stuff on it. But it's got like this coral pink on the collar, then long sleeve, navy, and white stripe. And then a little pocket in the front. It's really cute. Gonna wear this a lot. I actually wore it yesterday with leggings. I'll probably wear it today with leggings too because it's what I do. And I really like it. It's just classic and nice looking. So, almost finished with said haul. <sighs> I got Swedish Fish because I'm obsessed with them. I've actually almost finished them because I'm addicted. Twizzlers because I really like that chewy candy I figured out. I got two nail polishes. I got the L'Oreal in Laurent. Not a very clever name, the L'Oreal. And Maybelline Color Show in Pink Shock, which I also really like. They're both super cute. From a Dirty Santa party at my school, we had... Um, I got this Sletkin and Co. Wallflowers, and I can't remember the scent, but it's really beachy and happy, so I'll be using this in the spring, and it's going to just brighten up my room, because these are my new obsession, because I'm not allowed to like light candles, because my mom thinks I'm going to catch the house on fire, which I might, so these are a great alternative, and I find that they make the room small, like, you can really smell it, which I like. My friend who's super creative, Madeline, one of my best friends, um... All of these people that gave me gifts are one of my best friends, obviously, but yeah, I don't know, whatever. And she made these really sweet earrings, and they're just really cute, and I love them, and they're just, her gifts are always so thoughtful. I got two candy canes, one in cherry flavor, one in peppermint flavor. Excited about that. I got this ornament, which I'm going to, I think, put in my room, because it's so pretty. I don't want to, like, put it up for with the Christmas stuff. And it's just a peace sign, and my mom got it for me, and I really like it. Um, and it's made like entirely out of little buttons and it's just, it's really thoughtful. And then I got a little snowman. Eee! Oh, my cat's like eyeing that. Uh, I got a little adapter for my, a lightning two thir three thirty pen adapter for my iPhone. Because apparently this works better than the regular ones and makes charging faster. I don't know. So I got that. I got a flashlight. For my car, which is exciting because I need one because I don't have anything in my car that would um, potentially save me from danger. I also got a ton of other car stuff, but I don't know where it is. It's mostly like cleaners and no, it's all stuff to clean my car with and like an ice thing to sh put on my window so it melts the ice really quickly. But I don't know where I put that stuff, but I did get a lot of that stuff for my car. I got another... I got an ice scraper. I think I showed you that already. So that's exciting. I got two pencils with little gems on them. Two packs of gum because I'm always chewing gum and splashing fruit and tropical twist. I got a deck of cards which is kind of an inside joke between me and Sydney. 
who's one of my friends. Uh, I got bath confetti, which I think these are so cute. It's such a good idea. You could literally go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and buy like 10 of these jars for 10 of your friends or five of these jars, depending on how many friends you have. I don't know. I don't have that many. Um, and then you can make your own little gifts for that. And I just think that's really cute. Then I got two more things and I'm done. I got a blanket from my grandma and I always need blankets so I'm really excited for this I'm actually cleaning out my room which is why you can't see my room never mind but I'm cleaning out my room and so that has nothing to do with the blanket I don't even know what I'm talking about well I'm cleaning my room just so you guys know last but certainly not least perhaps my favorite gift of the whole Christmas season well my favorite gift would be my family yeah my family is my favorite gift but if I had to pick a material gift, it would be this baby. I got the Clarisonic Mia 2. And I'll show you. You just like turn it on and it vibrates. Oh, it's squirting water everywhere because it's kind of wet. But um, it's just super cute. It's like a blue color, like a turquoise blue. And I've been wanting one for a really long time just to like clear, clean my face. I just never feel like I get a really good like, I never feel like I clean my face very well. And so far, this has been amazing. I've only used it twice, but I really love it. So expect a review on that soon. Uh, it also came with the Clarisonic Acne Daily Clarifying Cleanser, which is awesome. So yeah, this is what I got for Christmas. Comment below with what you guys got for Christmas, or leave it as a video response. I gotta go, but I love you guys. Bye.